Okay, we're gonna go over how to create your own public key so you can post that somewhere to be used. So you're gonna come up to the top and you're going to just left click on the clipboard up here. And then you're gonna go down to manage keys. Okay. And then you're gonna press the plus arrow. You're gonna highlight PGP key, press continue. And then this is where you're just gonna put something don't uh, don't give it what it wants. Just you can make it anything. And same with that. You don't need to put a comment in. And there's a limit. It has to be at least five characters. If it's not, it won't even highlight this button. So go ahead, press create. Enter your password. Make sure it's something secure because this is going to be how you decrypt messages that you receive. Okay. So then just press OK. And now it's currently generating. It'll take just a second. And so you're gonna to wanna to click here after that to see it. And you're gonna see it's right there. So in order to get that key, the public key that you need to put online for other people, you're just gonna click it like this and go to your keyboard and press Control C. And now when we open up, if you go back to the clipboard and we open the text ed editor, just pretend like this is the website and you're gonna press Control V to paste, and that's the public key that you're gonna put on the internet. So that's how you do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to import a key from the internet, so somebody else's key that you want them to send a message to. So you're gonna get their key from the internet. You're gonna just highlight the text, and you're gonna press Control C. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go on the internet here, so I'll just show you. I already have something copied. So you're gonna go up to your text editor. Once you get their public key from the internet, you're just gonna go up to the text editor and by clicking that clipboard again and then pressing open text editor, you're gonna open this up and then once you have that key copied from the internet, just go ahead and press control V to paste it in. Now this next part is what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to come over here and you're gonna to wanna to save this to the desktop. So press the save button and then double click this desktop and then name it anything you want. I'm gonna name this import. Import, okay. So now I can exit this because we saved it and you're gonna see now it's on the desktop. So all you have to do to import this key is double left click it. And you're gonna see in a second here, it says that the key was imported. Now if we go back to the clipboard, we're going to see in manage keys, we're gonna see that it should be there. Yep, and you can see that it's not a personal key, it's somebody else's key. So we can't get a private key for this, we can't decrypt anything, but we can send them a message. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to send a message or encrypt a message with the PGP key that we imported a little bit ago from the person on the internet. So go up to this clipboard and go ahead and just click it up just like that and press open text editor. And now we're going to want to put some sort of information in it. This message will be sent to the person uh, who's receiving it. So you can go ahead and put some personal information. This will all be encrypted. So let's go ahead and put address. So a housing address or a question. So go ahead and click that. And you can right click and press copy or you can go and press Control and C, because it's the same thing. Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. Those are gonna be the most important ones you wanna know. So once you have that copied, like we do now, you're gonna just go up here to the clipboard again, click it, and then press Sign Encrypt Clipboard with Public Keys. And now this is the key we imported, this is the guy we wanna send the message to. So go ahead, and once you find him, click his box right here, and make sure that the box has a check mark, and then just go down to the bottom and press OK. And then we're gonna say, yep. And now you can see, right now we have nothing in this box, but when I go down and press Control V, the message will be sent. Now this message can only be decrypted by that sender. So let's show you how to do it. So from with this, this'll stay in there. You just wanna go into the browser 
and you wanna paste that, and that's the message that you'll send to the receiver. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to decrypt a message that was sent to you. So let's say that this here is the message that was sent to you. Now, normally this would be in the browser on a website. So what you wanna do is you want to highlight all of the text, be very careful to make sure you only stop at this last dash and make sure you only start at this last dash. Any space before or after will make this not work. So go ahead and highlight that all, make sure it's blue, and then go ahead and right click the keyboard, press copy. Or you can alternatively press control C to copy. Now you'll notice after we did that, we have a clipboard appear, or a paddle lock on the clipboard. Then you're gonna to wanna to click this and press decrypt slash verify clipboard. And now we're gonna enter our password. This is gonna be the password that you set up when you created this key. So it's very important to remember that. So now I'm gonna press okay. And then here it is. This is the message. Now this is what it's saying. This is what the message said. The thing is sent should be there 0902-2021. And that is it. That is as simple as it is. Okay, so this video is the final video in this, but this is the most important thing that I can say. So, in the event that this computer shuts off, everything is gone. All of the PGP keys you created are gone. But there will be a way to still receive your messages. You take a second USB drive and you plug it in to the computer over here. And you're going to want to do this as soon as you create that PGP key. Okay. And once we get that open up here, you're going to want to go ahead and click on this, right click on the PGP key that you want to send and press properties and then go to details and then export the secret key. And you're going to want to export it to the USB that you plugged into the side. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it says what it's supposed to say here. So let's go address, that's fine. So then you're gonna to wanna to go and click export over here. And you're gonna to need to enter the password you put for that. And that will be just the password of your PGP key. Okay. Now that is a very important step and you'll see why in just a sec. Okay, so now that you've exported that key, I restarted Tails and everything is deleted. All of the keys are gone. Now you'll see even the key we just created is gone. So this will be the worst case scenario. You have no longer any of your keys and you're not gonna be able to decrypt the messages. But the last thing we did by exporting that key was crucial. So you're going to want to go ahead and click places and then you're going to want to find the USB drive. Make sure that it's obviously plugged into the computer. And once this loads, you're going to see right there, that is our key. And we're going to go ahead and double click it here and we're going to enter the password. And okay. And in a second here, it'll say key imported. And you're gonna to wanna to enter it again. Okay, it might just be importing it a second time. Yeah, you didn't need to do the second keyboard, but anyway, go ahead and click this clipboard, press manage keys. And now you're gonna see, boom, your key is back. And now you'll be able to decrypt messages just the same as you would. So this is a critical step, just in case the machine shuts down or if you wanna be twice as safe, export the key and import it every single time. And that's, that's it.